Welcome to Excel Business Math Series number 22. Hey, we're in the workbook Business Math Chapter 3. You can go to my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download this. Or if you're enrolled in the class, just get it from our Chapter 3 website. Hey, we need to talk about percents. Now, I'm going to start over in the PDFs. Here are the rules for percents. And here's rule number one. Percents are not numbers. Don't let anyone tell you that they are. They are, percents are formatted symbolic representations of numbers. Hey, what do I mean by that? Well, here it is. We start off with 0.6 and then we end up with a 6 and a percent symbol. This 0 0.06 means 6 parts out of 100. This is a formatted symbolic representation that helps us visually um, understand that we have 6 parts for every 100. It's a little bit easier, and this percent symbol here is a little bit easier sometimes to understand than a decimal. So that's what I mean by uh, formatted symbolic representations. Now I'll show you why they're not numbers in just a second. Uh, so rule number one, they're not numbers. Rule number two, they're formatted symbolic representations. Three, to convert a number to a percent, hey, here's what you do. Multiply a number by 100 or slide the decimal places uh, two places to the right, which is what we'll do. And then second, you add a symbol for percentage, percent to the end of the number. Now, here we go. Here's example one. We're going to convert this number, 0 0.06, to a percentage, right? Here's step one. 0 0.06 times 100 equals 6. Ding, 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 ding. That is why a percent is not a number. Now, don't get confused by your calculators or Excel. Um, they all have format representations, but underneath, they're all programmed to deal with this right here, a decimal, 0 0.06. But look at this. Here's the reason they're not numbers. When we get down here, we got a 6, right? Is 6 equal to 0 0.06? It is not. So the fact that we do this, or, and this is how we'll do it, anytime you multiply a number by 100, notice there's 1020. 0, 0. Anytime you do that, you can just slide the decimal zoop, to the right, 1, 2. So this is how we'll do it, 1, 2. The reason we can do that is just, that's just shorthand for multiplying. Anyway, we get a 6. That's step 1. And step 2, we just simply add the symbol. Let's go over to Excel and see how to do this. There it is. There's our decimal. Now, I'm going to type in 0 0.06, Control Enter. Now, here's how you do it. You go to Format Cells, Control 1, Control 1, and we'll go to the Number tab. And on the Number tab, we're going to select Percentage and Show 2. Now, notice it um, slid the decimal for us and shows two decimals. We can choose more or less. Watch this. I'm going to click back on general. See how it shows that? This is what's stored in memory in Excel. And by the way, in your calculator too, uh, percentages. So there we click OK. That's what you do. It does it for us. But guess what? That's just a facade. Facade means on top. It's like putting paint on the outside of your house. This is format. What's underneath is not this is not really what's underneath. Even though up in the formula bar you see 6%, in memory is stored 0 0.06. Hey, let's go back to our PDFs. Okay, uh, Let's go decimal to percent again. Hey, let's convert 0 0.005 to a percent. Now, don't get scared by these little decimals here. It's still, the rule is slide the decimal two times to the right and add a symbol. So watch. Zip. So we get 0.5, and then we add the symbol. Notice is 0.5, that's really like a half, right? Is a half less than 1? Yes, it is. So anytime you see a, de a decimal point and then some number and a percent symbol, it is less than 1%. Let's go over to Excel, and let's try it here. Um, Oh, so we start out with 0 0.005. I actually have an er error here. This should be 0 0.005. Right, so we have 0 0.005. Now we control one, control one. We go to percentage, and we'll show. Uh, let's just show one decimal here, and click OK. That is 0.5 percent or a half a percent. Let's go and do our last um, decimal to percent. Hey, we have 0 0.62. That sounds like a, uh, a Social Security tax rate, right? So here it is. We just slide zoop zoop to. We get 6.2. Notice it goes zoom, zoom, and then we add the symbol. So let's try it here, 0 0.062, Control-1, 
and I'm going to add percentage just like that. So you can go back from general to percentage. Um, now, I want to show you another way to think about percents and the fact that they're not numbers. We saw earlier in earlier videos how to do formula evaluator. It shows us how Excel analyzes and evaluates a formula. So watch this. I'm going to click here and hit F2. Notice I would never type a formula like in this into a cell, especially if these um, numbers change. Our rule from earlier chapters is you put the number in a cell and you build formulas with cell references. But this is a cool little trick. We can type our uh, math expression here and then watch how Excel e evaluates it. It will actually get rid of this percent and convert it to a decimal before it actually calculates. All right, I'm going to control enter. I have that cell highlighted. In 2007, I go to Formulas, Formula Auditing, and then Evaluate Formula. In earlier versions, you have to go to Tools Menu, uh, Formula Auditing, Evaluate Formula. Now watch this. It's underlined, and we saw this early in an earlier video how this worked. We click Evaluate. It evaluated that because it's inside the parentheses. But watch this. Boom. Now it's underlined this. And before it can multiply, what does it do? It actually converts it to a decimal. So even though you see the percentage on the surface, Excel underneath when it's um, evaluating always goes to the decimal because that is the number you use to uh, multiply or divide or do whatever you're doing. Okay, Click Evaluate, and finally you get 6. Let's go back over to our PDFs. And now we want to go uh, percent back to decimal. This is the reverse rules, right? We drop the symbol and then slide the decimal not to the right, but to the left. All right, here's an example, 0.75%. Now, don't get scared by this. As soon as you see that 0.7 in a percent symbol, you're like, man, I know that 0.75 is less than 1, so this is less than 1%. Okay? So number one, drop the symbol, zoop, so we get 0.75. Um, second, we either divide by 100 or slide the decimal two places to the left. Remember, we saw this in chapter 1 and 2 when we did div division. If you have two zeros and you're dividing, you can just slide the decimal. Wait a second. If we started with 0.75, there's nothing over here. What do we do? We add the zero. So we go 1 and add a 0, 2 and add a 0. So the answer is 0 0.0075. Notice, if this was a decimal and it was 1%, the 1 would be right there, right? Well, since this whatever this answer is is less than 0 0.01, the decimals have to be there, and that has to be a 0. Add zeros if needed. All right, let's go over and uh, see how to do this here. <coughs> we started off with a 0.75%. So now we're going to put 0.75. And I'm going to type. Remember, we saw form. Oh, we haven't seen this yet. But you can format as you type. 0.75%. That's format as we type. I'm going to hit Enter. Oh, so now it shows 0.75. Now watch this. How do we do it in Excel? We just control 1, and we go back to general. Now watch that. Boop. It immediately shows, even though we typed in 0.75 in a percent symbol, no way. That's really what got stored in memory. So when we remove the format, there it is. It's really 0 0.0075. Let's go back over to our PDFs. We start off with the hard one first, right? Now. Uh, if I can go for it here. Now let's do a uh, an easy one, right? Convert 25% to a number. Drop the symbol, slide the decimal, zoop, zoop, and we get 0.25. So this one's pretty easy. 25.00%. Oh, whoops. My number pad was not uh, 20. My number pad was not working. 25.00%. So you can actually uh, type in some, some 0, 0.00 and a percent, and that's formatting as you type too. So 25%. Remember, we typed in 25 point. As soon as we remove the formatting, control 1, go back to general. No way. That, even though we typed it in, that's really what got stored in uh, memory there. Now, we talked about this 0.75% uh, and sometimes it's confusing to people. Um, but let's just think about what is a percent really. If we have one part and we have the whole or total or base out of 100, 1 divided by 100 is um, 
Well, let's find out what it is. 1 out of 100 equals 1 divided by 100, right? So equals 1 divided by 100. That really is what a percent is. It's always however many of the things we have out of 100. Um, by the way, what if we did this? 0.75. Notice we have 1 there. It's like 1.00. But if you type in a number smaller than 1, you still do the same thing. You take 0.75 and divide it by 100. And notice this is a formula here. So watch when I hit Enter. Watch what happens. It immediately shows us that that is the decimal equivalent. So it's 0.75 divided by 100. That relates to that uh, problem we just did right there. Let's go over to our PDFs. Uh, let's do fraction to a percent. Uh-oh, we have to convert a, a fraction to a percent. Well, there's one extra step. Hey, we just do the division, right? Because that is division. A fraction is division, as we talked about last chapter. So we do division, it's 0.5. Then we slide the decimal, zoop, zoop, because we're going from a pra uh, fraction to a percent. So we slide it to the right. We get 5, 0, point. And we could put 0, 0 if we want, and we add the symbol, so we get 50%. All right, let's do this. Equals 1 divided by 2, just like we did with fractions in last chapter. And then I'm going to control 1 and add a percent, right? OK, that's pretty good. Hey, let's do this one. 1 third equals 1, equals one divided by 3. Uh-oh. Equals 1 divided by 3. Now, why didn't I just type in 0.333, right? Because that only had three significant digits. If you type in equals 1 divided by 3, it'll store up to uh, 15 significant digits. So it's a little, it's more accurate. So that's why we're going to do it that way. So we get 0.3333. If we increase the decimals, you can see out to 15. Now, let's format it. Control 1. Go to uh, percentage, and it, it shows you 3.33. You could increase this. Uh, later, we'll talk about how to do a fractional percent, right? Because now we have 0.33, so that's 0.33 divided, um, divided by 100, which comes out to be what if we do it? Actually, 1 third. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to do that again over here just to show you while we're talking about this one. You could show it as a decimal, right? This, I mean, a percent with some decimals. But here, watch this. Equals 1 divided by 3. Well, let's control 1. And we talked about in great length last chapter how to show, let's go ahead and do it. Let's do our um, percentage, right? But watch this. You can come down to custom. And instead of showing um, the 0, 0.00, we saw how to, with fractions, put a pound sign and then a question mark slash question mark. We actually want to go like this, space. That was from chapter two, where we did uh, fractional formatting, a mixed number and a fraction. But by adding this percent symbol to the end, it'll represent it as a percentage. That's pretty cool, 33 and 1 third percent. We'll talk a little bit about that more later. But the mixed number and the fractional stuff, we did, did 50 examples last chapter of that. And so just adding percent symbol is pretty cool. All right, let's go back over to our PDFs. There's our uh, example for 1 third. Now let's convert a mixed number to a percent. Well, here it is, 2 and a half. Uh, we know that you can go 2 times 2 plus 1 and put that in the numerator, divided by whatever the original denominator is, and there you get 5 twos. When you do the um, division, because remember, fraction is just division, you get 2.5. Well, there it is. So step 1, do whatever you have to do to get to a decimal. But once you get that decimal, you just slide zoop, zoop, 250. And then you add the percent symbol. You mean you can have 250? Yeah, sure you can. That means if you're, imagine you had a stock at 10 bucks, and then two years later, it's worth $25. Well, to go, and we'll talk about this later when we do increase and decrease problems, to go from 10 to 25, you could take 10 and multiply it by 250%, and it would give you your end value. So we'll talk more about that later. But yeah, you can have percentages that are 250%. We've already seen how you can have a percentage like 10 or 1. You can even have 
uh, decimal percentages like we saw 0.75 percent. Here it is, Excel. We started with a mix, uh, mix number, so we're going to start with two and a half, and we want to get to 250 percent. Now, last chapter, last chapter, how did we enter mixed numbers? Simply equals two plus one divided by two, and that way then we can just format it. Control one and do our percentage format. 250% OK. Now let's go back over to our PDS and now we can do um, percent to fraction. How do we do that? Convert 12% to a fraction. First you drop the symbol and then you slide the decimal. Zzz, so you start here and zzz, zzz, so you end up with 0. 0.12. Well what is 0. 0.12? We, that's 12 hundredths as we saw in chapter 1. So we simply can put 12 over 100 and then as we saw last chapter, you can break it apart into prime factors and cancel. So you're left with 3 over 25. And so that's the answer right there. So let's see if we can do this over in Excel with formatting. We have our 12% there. Let's go ahead and type in 12.00. And I'm going to format as I type with that percent symbol. And now how do we do this? Control 1. What happens if we go to general? General gets it's to the decimal, right? But what we really want is a fraction. So then you have to go to fraction. And it says 1 8. Um, we saw how to do lots of custom formatting for any kind of fraction we want last chapter. We could actually probably uh, click right there and get two, uh, three, uh, 25s. Also, this one would work because it has two in the top and two in the bottom. If you wanted to, for some reason, show it in hundreds, you could show it there, and it would show 12 over 100. Let's go ahead and select this one here, two in the bottom, two in the top. Remember, we did this by hand. We didn't. Use, this is a built-in format. When we click on custom, we can see it's it's an allowing us to have a mixed number, but just two question marks last two question marks. That gives us two uh, digits in the top and the bottom. Click OK. All right, let's go back over to our PDFs. OK, we want to go to our uh, next page. And now we want to convert. No way, you mean you can have a, a fractional percent? Yes, of course you can. Fractional percent to, and then convert it to a number. Well, first, we have to drop the symbol, Shh, get rid of that. We're left with 3 fourths. As we know, fractions are just division. So to get it to a decimal, we do the division. We end up with 0.75. Then we sli simply slide, since we're going from a percent to a number, we go to the left. Zip, zip, add those two zeros, and we're left with 0 0.0075. Now, all of this stuff we're doing by hand, sliding the decimals, that is very important. you got to practice that on paper. Because when you're reading an article or looking at something, on a supermarket sign or in a stock report. You want to be able to do this kind of stuff in your head. However, since most of our calculations are in made in Excel, you also have to know how to do it in Excel. We saw that we could do 1 divided by 100. And then we saw how we could do 0.75 divided by 100. But watch this. You can just in the cell type equals and then 3 fourths, 3 divided by fourths, right? That's in the numerator. We can divide that by 100 and hit Enter. And that gives us 0 0.0075, which is uh, eventually what we want. We need to start off as a percent. So now I'm going to cheat and go Control-1, percent. Oh, OK, there we are, 0.3, 0 0.75%. But notice we started at, as a fraction. So we're going to have to format this even further. Let's go do our custom. I'm simply going to do question mark slash question mark and then a percentage symbol. There it is, three-fourths percent. So that's uh, that's where we're starting, right? And we want to go to uh, 0 0.075. The, the cool thing to realize here was this trick, right? Because all the rest is formatting. Um, we started off with a, a fractional percent, so we just divided by 100. Well, here it is. How do we get back to a decimal? Well, we just put general format control 1 and click on uh, general. So uh, let me click Cancel here. If you were given a spreadsheet like this, and you had this, this format here, and you were required to show it as a decimal, that's easy. Control-1 in general. All right. Uh, we'll see you next Business Math video.